Legend Total War here, and today we've got a saving your disaster battle playing as Ikit Claw going up against Karaza Karak. So, his army is okay, not perfect, and we're just going up against a lot of force here. This army here is not a big deal, but Thorgrim Grudgebearers is basically... This is this is what the endgame dwarfs armies look like. It's essentially their doom stack. So, that's going to be pretty tricky to deal with. Is he on Force March? Yes, okay. So if you click on this, you can see what stances they're on and stuff. Uh, they've also got loads of base weapon damage, uh, but we've got that as well. Okay, but that's that's for melee damage. Well, still, we don't want to get into melee with them based on what we've got here. Um, he's got basically no food, but if we don't order some more Menace Belows, it's going to be very difficult to get rid of all of these artillery, and we need to. There's five pieces of artillery here, and we'll have... It says five, but it'll have four, because the way it works... This is, this is the Menace Below bug, and I've been telling CA about this <laughs> for ages, and they still won't fix it. If you get any free Menace Below uses, the first one that you order will always be gypped. So if I if I went into the battle like this right now, it would be two, that's three, that's four. Okay, even though it says five. So you always minus one off. Now, in a region where you don't get any freebies, the bug doesn't apply. But since Skaven Corruption gets spread pretty quickly, most of the time you do have freebies. Anyway, let's just jump in here and see what we can do. We do have a nuke. <laughs> well, we'll see what we can do. Alright, alright. He's got a nuke. Yeah. Because if we win this, we'll get more than enough food to pay back what we just took. And... I don't know why he's low on food. It could be that he just occupied a high tier settlement or who knows. Don't know the context of the situation. Early campaign I will also routinely enter the red while I'm occupying settlements because I think it's very important to use the food to develop your settlements up. And basically just use the menace belows as a last resort. Alright, this map is not the best but not the worst either. Positioning for us... You gotta pick your ground with care when using weapon team stacks because otherwise you're shooting dirt and that's just, it's not what we're here to do. Hmm. Just trying to find a good spot, I can't see it because if we put here, we'll be, yeah, we'll just be shooting dirt. We don't want that. This position here is okay. This is probably the best of what we're going to get. Big bloody rock in the way there. Also, not a fan of large unit scale. I wish, I wish people would just universally use Ultra. <laughs> it's fine. Use whatever you want. I just... Uh, I just wait prefer Ultra. Okay. It's more fun. Shouldn't make any difference to the scale of this battle. It'll, it'll probably make uh, our single entities a little bit more powerful. We don't have warp bomb, do we? No, 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 no warp bombs. Okay. We'll have to reform. This isn't enough. Um, it could call off to go and annoy them while we get organized. Okay, just start moving over to here. I'll reorganize it a little bit. And I'm heavily leaning towards nuking that, but we'll see how we go. Alright, we gotta get gotta get organized. Alright, you stay there. Could pause it. I don't know. I only prefer to use that as an absolute last resort, like if you get ambushed or something. Alright, should we nuke him? I don't know, just, just hold on a bit. Hold on. Can't quite see. Because of restrict camera. I actually think the Doomflay is better now. Um, it's, it's not a great nuke, to be honest. It's not great. They've seen a lot better. Eh, 
this zombie here is not a huge concern. Alright, we got some magic. Let's pop one down there, see if we can hit that. Let's start with some of these. See, I told you we'd have four. I don't know, I feel like these should be magic attack because they're using Whoopstone. <laughs> and Whoopstone is solidified magic. So, I don't know, I feel like Rattling Guns and Jezile should actually be magic attack. Which actually would make it weaker against wolves. Alright, we're okay here for the time being. Alright, I want to put down a plague. In no, that's too late. Alright, these guys have lagged behind enough now. Pop that down. That's it. We just gotta keep dicking them around as much as possible. Do you know it would also be really useful? If I could actually give commands to them while they're technically summoning, because it's really fucking annoying I'm sitting there clicking and I can't give out orders. Alright, that's fine. Oh, that's a good one! I was waiting for an opportunity! <laughs> Come on, give it! Give daddy some nerd! Eh, eh, it was alright. I've seen better. Tell me you got second win serum, right? Yes, you do. Good. Coming over here. We could also use Bless with Filth to slow them down a little bit. Alright, they still. Okay, I think all their artillery pieces got destroyed, so we use this to slow them down here a bit. Damage is being done. It's good to keep slowing them down, please. Alright, I want you to just go charge in there, Ricket. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. And Ikit's also got this, which won't do that much damage against wolves, but it's okay. Alright, I want to slow these guys down a little bit more, so I'm going to put this behind them so that they turn around and go the opposite direction, basically. Just want a little bit more time to deal with this. Where'd my flayers go? Over here, okay. Good, they won. I think that went okay. Like, we got instantly killed, but that's okay. Okay, Ikaclaw's done about as much as he can. He needs to get out of here now. That's useless. Come on, time to go. Time to go. Get over here. You've done enough. It's all just about annoying them at this point anyway. Okay, it's going reasonably well. We want to start bombing that real soon. If I could get a plague in there, that'd be good. Alright, here comes our last Vermintide. Then we have to start using uh, Pestilent Birth if we want to uh, summon any more units. Oh, we've still got one more um, Menace Blow as well. Good. That worked out there. Good. Alright. Alright, alright. Well, we've, we've done some serious damage to him so far. 
And pop it down. Actually, I don't know if that was the best place to put it, but whatever, I did it. We're okay for magic. Uh, it's not really. We have a little bit of magic left. Bomb into the biggest cluster of them, please. Oh crap, yeah, we're out of magic unless we use um, arcane conduits. Pop it in the middle of them there, just buy us a little bit more time. Alright, I think we can send you into melee now. Come on, just a little bit more. I feel like the army losses is right upon them. Because thanks to Clan Scryer, these guys here have been regenerating their balance of power. This is what we want to see. And this one here, if it crowds around them, it acts as a mortis engine as well. Don't use this, it won't do much to them. And... Oh, no, 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 no! Uh, stay away from the troll hammers. Too much. Alright, here you go, have this. Going away present. Doesn't matter because there's the army losses, we did it. Good, and minimal damage as well. So Thorgrim's army gets completely wiped out because he's on Force March anyway. Funny thing is summoning him might have been the thing that tipped over the bounce of power. And we already got rid of all their slayers. So yeah, there we go. Good stuff. Yeah, I think waiting for the just the right time for that nuke made a big difference. It didn't seem like it did a lot of damage, but... It took all of their artillery out of the picture. There was like three units of artillery there, and all of the pieces either got destroyed, but it, it got them off the pieces. And if you take a unit of artillery crew off their artillery, you immediately lose a lot of balance of power, even if the, all those things are still at full strength. So the fact that they didn't go back to it, and there's the extra food, um, really helped. Didn't I get 20 food? Is that going to update or what? So basically all that's left is that, okay, and you really do need more food, but you did take some damage, I'll take that. It's only two food. So let's see what else is going to happen here. Oh, three armies would have been difficult to deal with. So campaign doesn't seem to be going badly. Depends what total number it is, I didn't check. Come on, get through it so that we can see what's going on. Just want to evaluate the campaign, see how much of a problem he's in. Sure, the, the Kreza Crack is, like, way stronger than him, but that doesn't really mean anything to Skaven. If you set up your armies right, like, infinite dwarves is just infinite food. Yeah, so we got, we got... Should have gotten 20 food from that. I don't know if we did. It says plus four. Yeah, I guess that makes sense, because, yeah, we got 22 of food, because we got two left. Yeah, yeah, so we, did, we didn't get chipped. I mean, we did. we did. We got one fewer. I mean, it's below than we ordered. Uh, camp, turn 144. How many armies do you have? Three. Let's have a look at your armies. Icket Claw. Uh, yeah, it's alright. Yeah. Yeah, you can, you, can, you can definitely build better armies. Your economy is not amazing. But you got, like, tier 5 settlements. Come on, you get build those walls. Oh, you got, come on, dude. You gotta build those walls. It's so important. Build, build those walls. It's like the first thing you're gonna do whenever you get a settlement as Skaven. Build those walls. That's it. Because once you've built the walls, you make it so difficult for the enemy to capture it. Alright. You're more or less doing it in a lot of the regions, but you gotta do it to all of them. Alright, cool. I think the campaign's in okay shape. It is a legendary difficulty, but he can handle it. Um, Skaven is super strong in this sort of position. Anyway, that's the end of this one, guys. Hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time, fuckers. Appreciate you.